I was talking to them about an intersection and how it kind of bugged me because everyone was sitting there, no one knew what they were doing, and I asked them if they wanted to try to, could they come up with a better idea? And I expected them to just come up with something really simple, but a lot of them came up with really elaborate ideas and added added lanes, and, and they really did a lot, of, a lot exceeded my expectations a lot. So this is my intersection design, and the sensors and lights will connect, and the sensors will be covered in rubber, so if it breaks, it's easy to replace, and the light, they will be connected, so when a car gets there, the light will turn green, which means they can go right, left, or straight. And only one car will go at a time, so it can be safer. Like this one's green. Only they can go. Okay. Only they can go, and while the other three are stopped. Okay. Um, my intersection. Well, we're, I'm keeping the regular intersection with it. Okay. But there will be stoplights as the usual. But I'm adding two to each side, so this car can just turn this way. Okay. And this car can just go that way without having no stoplights. Oh wow! Okay. For the same ones, and then this car can go that way. Way to build an inter intersection, and as you see here, there are four weight lanes, one for each um, way, and two different lanes. And it's pretty much like a normal intersection, except for the bridge. Math and science is something we use every day, and a lot of people get intimidated by math and. Um, they say they're not good at it when they really are, and I think it's just something that you can make fun when um, a lot of people are scared of it, and and they don't realize how much math they really used in this project, but they were using angles and geometry and all that kind of stuff that really we haven't gone over. They haven't really been taught it yet, but it's just natural. You know, this is you know what what great young people we have here in Kansas and really all over the United States. We just need to give them an opportunity to be exposed to different fields. That's why I was so excited that the teacher here gave them the opportunity to do something that was outside of you know the regular course of, of subject, uh, but, but really to get them to think about how something is that every day in their life they have called an intersection, how it really impacts you know the safety of them and and the flexibility and the speed at which they can get through.